welcome guys so in this section let us discuss about cucumber bdd okay so you can continue and integrate your cypress framework with cucumber bdd so this is one of the requirement where clients may ask to convert your framework in cucumber standards so let's see how can we do that so before that first you have to understand what is cucumber and why do we need to uh, what is the necessity of using it in our framework okay so for that i would just go with a keyword cucumber in google so this of course is a vegetable don't worry about it and this is the one what we are looking for bdd testing so here you can describe your test case in form of a behavioral okay so here if you see uh, this is one test case but the way we are writing this test case looks something like this given alice is hungry when she eats three cucumbers then she will be full okay so your automation test case is to check whether alice will be full if she eats three cucumbers right so you should design test based upon your browser interaction when you write that that looks something like this let's say you have written some test cases um let's pick up this right this looks so technical right but a client or a end user if they want to know what exactly you automated they can't understand by looking at this so of course they can get some sense like using page object style that we have given nice user friendly methods but still there is somewhere uh, business scenarios are missing like what exactly this test case do instead your test can be described in this behavioral driven style so this syntax we call as a gherkin syntax okay so basically what you have is given and when you perform some action then what is the result outcome so you should describe your test scenario like this and link this lines with your actual code now for example um, we have actually automated this end to end web page right so let me go to that web page again and see what we have done from business point of view um second one sorry not this yeah so we started from here we filled the form and we shopped few items we added them to cart and finally we checked out we validated total is matching and then we chosen the country and we have placed our order right so this is the business scenario and we are looking for success message this is what we automated so same thing uh, you can give something like this in a cucumber style so this is a gherkin syntax so they force us to follow some syntaxes look at here the same test case of from cucumber style i would like to represent like this given i open e-commerce page right so this is our page given i landed here so this is what your current state what you have before you actually execute right when i add items to cart right this is what you did so you add items to cart and then and validate the total prices so here given is one keyword ex which explains current situation when is the what action you are performing and if you think you have multiple actions then you use end concatenation to describe your actions like you add items to cart and you also validate total prices and once you are good with that then what you want to do ultimately select the country and submit right this is what you want to ultimately validate that when you add items to cart if you are able to select the country and submit same thing we have done here but this is a business representation and cucumber strictly says that follow their syntaxes like what is scenario name feature represents a test suite okay a test suite can have multiple test cases right each scenario represents one test case okay so here you can write a uh, scenario like uh, um, checking e-commerce confirmation page that's our test and given you have this when you do this and then you end up now you might be wondered what happens after i give this now what you should do is you have to link this description this theoretical description with your actual code 
okay now when you say given i open e-commerce page you generally have to hit this url right because that opens e-commerce page so this code you have to link with this sentence this is what you have to do okay this should be somewhere in another file as a client i would just look at these i would just ask them show what the automation test you have developed then i would show this okay so he will see the business only the back end code we are not showing okay so we are hiding it we are encapsulating it and we are just coming up with another interface okay so we are not making any changes on your existing framework only we are adding another interface as a front end so that one can read this and understand what exactly your test case is doing and ultimately we should tie up all the code with these lines and then when you run this a complete scenario when it tries to run the first line then it will see what is the tied up code for me uh, for this line it will go to that code and it will execute it so like this the sequence whatever code you have written you have to nicely fit them into the proper link ups and each link up will execute step by step so that is the overall concept of having another interface for user friendly and that's why we call this as a behavior driven development okay bdd framework we call and to cucumber is one of the tool which supports this bdd framework okay there are uh, a number of tools which can do that and cucumber is of course a famous one and here what we are doing behavioral we are first of all describing the behavior based upon this behavior we are driving our development okay development is nothing but writing the actual code and linking it to your behavior so that's why we call them as behavioral driven development okay and cucumber is a tool which supports this bdd framework so that's why we are going to see this now where do you write this actual code so for that in cucumber there is a concept called step definition so you should go to this file basically all these are steps right and we should define them defining them is nothing but writing their actual code so that's why you should create one more step definition file and there you should link up this now you might get confused like how would i link up that link up depends upon the programming language you are using so different programming languages have different syntaxes to link now so Cy cypress is on javascript okay so what you can do if you want to understand the exact syntax then just type cucumber.js and go to their official documentation they will have some syntaxes showing up how to do all these right and if you scroll down here there is a step definitions and here you go now let me take this as an example when i view my profile so basically when is a keyword i told you right given when then you should tie up like this so while linking up you should write like this when you can import uh, this from your cucumber package what you will install uh, which in the next lecture so when what you have inside um, i add items to cart you have to place this i add items to cart as a first argument and in the second argument you have to write a function which will have actual code so if you write like this and when you run your scenario then step by step it tries to execute now when it reaches this page when it will go to step definition file and look for all when tags and whenever it found that tag next step is to check for this sentence i add items to cart if it founds here then it will come to the second argument and it will execute the code so here where you have to write the code to add items so that's how you link up and nicely you can create a front end design and execute okay so almost we have everything here what all we need is to have another feature file and step definition file and all this code we will partition them and link up like this as per the syntax shown here and that's it cucumber framework will be ready and there are some more nice features cucumber will give like how to data drive how to generate reports how to have some tags there are some cool features also this framework supports which i will also discuss right so in the next lecture let's start from the basics like how to install that cucumber package into our framework and get started and convert this into cucumber format okay thank you